Hello, I'm Dr. David Hornbrook, the Clinical Director of Education and Technology here at Keating Dental Arts in beautiful Irvine, California. Keating is a full service lab. Not only do we provide unbelievable restorative care, we're doing some cool things with education as well. Not only videos, but this podcast. This is our 10th podcast now. And we have a special guest, and that's Garrett Sato. Thanks, Garrett, for being here. Dr. Hornbrook. Now, you. Garrett and I have known each other for, I was trying to think, it, it, 15, maybe 15 a- anyway, years. I yeah. So. And, and we met randomly. He worked for Kerr at the time, Kerr Cybern. And we were at a dinner party outside, and I was wearing this kind of cool goldish uh, checkered jacket. And he came up to me and said, hey, I really like your jacket. It was actually in San Diego. Right. It was at Lowe's Resort in San exactly. Diego. And, exactly right. And we're about the same size, so I you know, let him try it on. And I meant to bring it today because I don't wear it anymore. I still have it. So I was going to let you you borrow it. It could be like the thing, you know, we transfer every year at a certain date. But exactly. um, So we became close friends, and I had a great relationship with Kerr and had a great relationship with Garrett, and then Garrett kind of disappeared a little bit, and then we kind of caught up again this year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you've done some really cool things. And I know, I know you tried to get out of dentistry, and they, they kept reeling you back in, and you know, people that have high talent, you're like the Brett Favre or the Peyton Manning, it's like, okay, I'm done. It's like, no, you're not done. We're gonna reel you back in. So if I go, you know, right now you're the CEO of Danville. Danville. That's correct. It used to be Danville Engineering. Do you still? Right. Okay. So it's Danville Materials. Okay. And we're going to talk more about that because that's a company that's evolved too. I mean, that was really Ray Bertolotti's mm-hmm. The Tin Man, sure. and it started up in Danville, California, exactly. near there. Exactly. Um, now we're, it's right here in Orange Orange County. Yep. And Anaheim, California. Okay. Yep. Which um, is close. It's nice. I can't wait to yep. get out there to yeah. see it. So that's where you're at now. And then... Prior to that, you were Discus, right? Is that part of the sell to Philips, or is it launched? What? Yes. Yeah, so with uh, with the, with the Discus uh, arrangement, we um, we were in Discus for about a year, from two thousand and nine till about uh, the end of two thousand and ten, and then we sold to uh, Philips, right? Uh, Philips Corporation at the end of two thousand and ten. And, and then at that point, I stayed on with Phil's for a little while, uh, and uh, and I decided to retire at that point or semi-retire. So right. Yeah. Yeah. Said, good luck with that. Now you're the CEO yeah, of another I company. Couldn't, I couldn't get out of dental, which I didn't want to necessarily get out of dental, but there were some personal reasons. And yeah. so anyway, uh, and at that point, uh, I went on the board for companies like Triodent and uh, and. Uh, Worked with uh, other companies to do some consulting for that for, okay. for a couple of like two two and a half years, and then started working with a private equity company, and okay. um, they wanted to get in the dental industry, and so uh, having the connections with all of our friends and right. all the companies that we know, we were able to um, um, locate and identify Danville, and right. uh, okay. and at that point in two thousand and uh, end of two thousand and thirteen, we um, we ended up uh, purchasing. Danville materials. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So you've been around. And then, then, then they asked me to run, run to the run, Yeah, by the way, we purchased <laughs> this, and by the way, you have a new job. Uh, exactly. You're going to have to come back to work and <laughs> come in at 8 and leave at 5 exactly. and, and, and be around. Exactly. And prior to that, you were with Kerr for a long time, and your title with Kerr was? I was uh, uh, vice president of international, international for Kerr. Prior to that, about nine years with Ormco. Um, we were a privately held company back in uh, 1987 when I started. Right. So uh, with Ormco for about nine, almost ten years with Ormco, and uh, did various jobs there, and then uh, was over at Kerr as vice president of international, which international. I think that's when we really met yeah. at that point. Yeah. And so I had that uh, job for in the position for a lot of years, 14 okay. years. And prior to that, it was Hallmark. Well, well Hallmark, thing. I started. Hallmark was like, that's where you started, writing jingles, maybe. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah you are yeah. my true love, right? <laughs> um, from, all, from above, you know, all those dumb things, right? You probably wrote all those things yeah, that I gave all my girlfriends at the time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was, was what, what did you do with Hallmark? I'm just curious. Well, so when I got out of school, Cal State Long Beach, they, they would come on the campus, and they would take a look at some of the graduates, and, and, and uh, they were one of the companies that, that ended up uh, recruiting me. Okay. And right off the campus, so I was really fortunate there, and was able to understand my first big corporate job because uh, Hallmark's such a big.